Performing periodic inspections is important for maintaining an irrigation system. By doing so, water is used as efficiently as possible while maintaining a healthy landscape. A maintenance checklist is a great tool to help you with this process, so let's get started. Okay, one of the first things we want to do is eliminate the obvious and make sure the water is turned on. So I'm going to come to the water meter. If I have a dedicated meter to the sprinkler system, then it could be turned off. Uh, in this case, it's turned on because it also runs the property. The next thing I want to look is uh, at the backflow device, make sure it is fully on. And if they have an isolation valve, which this one does, I want to make sure it is on as well. If this is the first time the system's being turned on for the year, then you want to make sure that you turn it on as slow as possible to limit any damage that might occur to the, uh, the system's main line. Once everything is charged up, then you want to look at the water meter again and look at the leak indicator to see if it's spinning. If it's spinning, then that's an indication of a problem downstream that we'll need to take care of. The water meter is a great troubleshooting tool because you can use it to calculate the flow of all your zone. You can record the data, and then when you do future inspections, you can compare the two uh, sets of information. If you see an increase in flow for a zone, then that is a sign of a potential leak. If you see a decrease in flow, then you have some sort of restriction. So I'm here at the controller, and what I want to do now is make sure that it is programmed appropriately for the season. And by doing that, I want to make sure I'm using the correct watering days and I'm watering the correct length of time for each zone. Once I've done that, I will do a system check where I turn each zone on for a couple of minutes. That way I can go outside and do my walkthrough. When we walk through the system, we're going to look for things that will affect the uniformity of the spray pattern or anything that's going to waste water. So obviously we're looking for busted heads. We also want to look for heads that are spraying onto the hard surfaces. We want to make sure they're aligned properly, watering only what we want. And then we also want to make sure that the heads are plumb and that they're not tilted in any way. One last thing I want to look for is any obstructions in the spray pattern. I just completed the walkthrough of the first zone and one thing I found was standing water around this head. This could be a sign of a weeping valve, it could have been a, a cracked riser, or it could just be low head drain. Either way, I'm going to write it down, I'm going to finish my inspection, and then I'll determine exactly what needs to be done with any problems that I find. When inspecting the valves, the main thing I want to know is the valve's location. But once I get to the valve, I want to look at the wires, make sure that waterproof splices have been used, and then I want to see if there's any uh, standing water in the valve box. Standing water obviously is an indication of a problem that will need to be addressed later. There's some other considerations you need to think about when you inspect the drip system. First, you need to make sure the filter is cleaned. After that, you want to go to the far end of the drip system and find the flush. Open that up and let the system run full flow for a couple of minutes. Close the flush and then walk through the rest of the system, checking the emitters to see if there's anything that is clogged or if any emitter has blown off. After completing your walkthrough, you may need to do some additional troubleshooting to figure out exactly what needs to be repaired. I can't emphasize to you enough how important it is to perform periodic inspections. Not only will it ensure a healthy landscape, but it can also save water and reduce the cost of your overall landscape maintenance. For more information, contact your local Ewing branch or visit us online at ewingirrigation.com.